The main body is the central piece of every modular four-barrel Holley carburetor. Forward of the body, you will always find a primary metering block that contains a power valve and two primary jets. The primary fuel bowl will be the forwardmost module of the carburetor. The primary fuel bowl will always have an accelerator pump assembly located on the lower portion of the bowl. With gaskets in place, the two front primary venturis of the carburetor are set to receive fuel. Let's move on to the secondary system of the carburetors, but first keep in mind that most four-barrel Holley carburetors can be separated into two model number categories. The two basic types are the 4150 and the 4160 models. First up, the 4150 model basically has a mirror image of the primary modules that will supply fuel to the rear two barrels of the body. There's a secondary metering block that has its respective jets and sometimes a power valve installed. With its gaskets in place, the secondary side of the carburetor is ready for fuel. 4150 models have dual feed fuel entry points, one for each fuel bowl. On the 4160 models, fuel enters the carburetor at the primary bowl and a transfer tube carries the fuel to the rear bowl. There is one major difference between the 4150 and the 4160 models, which is related to the design of the secondary fuel system at the rear of the carburetor. Examining the rear block of a 4150, you'll notice a power valve or plug, as well as the secondary jets of the rear metering block. On the 4160 models, the secondary metering block is left out of the assembly. Instead, you'll find a thin metering plate that is used in its place. When assembled, the secondary fuel bowl will house the entire secondary fuel supply and metering system for the rear two barrels of the main body of a 4160. All carburetors have a throttle body plate at the base. When you examine the base, there are two different shapes and bolt patterns that are intended to mate with the two types of intake manifolds that you will encounter. Square bore carburetor bases are the most common and are meant to mate with square bore intake manifold flanges. Spread bore flanges are very common types of intake manifolds and are intended to accept quadrajet style carburetors. Holly offers carburetors designed for both types of flanges and also has adapters that can be used for converting from one type to the other. Other modular components you might encounter on a Holly carburetor are a vacuum secondary assembly, a choke system actuator, an air conditioner kick-up solenoid, a transmission kick-down hookup, and the potential for all kinds of brackets and linkage connections for various throttle setups. Now that we have the basics covered, you can make a selection that represents your carburetor and learn more detailed information about it. Or you can choose to go to the chapter selection menu and choose a clip to watch.